Legislators on both sides of the aisle have expressed reservations about the American Health Care Act, the, the GOP's plan to replace Obamacare. Monday night, Republican leaders released changes to the bill pertaining to Medicaid. Some of the changes includes, include states having the option of requiring able-bodied Medicaid recipients to work or to do community service. The House is expected to vote on the bill on Thursday. Now, DHHS Commissioner Mary Mayhew is here with us to answer your questions live. She actually just returned from a trip to Washington, D.C., where you and the governor were speaking about Medicaid. So first, let's talk about your trip. Um, I, I know you guys talked about that program. So do you think what you discussed had a big impact on the bill? And do you agree with it now that the changes have kind of been proposed? Our trip had a huge impact. Maine is viewed as a leader because we have restored fiscal stability in our Medicaid program. We've moved away from a sea of red ink to prioritizing our elderly and our disabled we were able to transform the program and we have become stronger in this state because of it. We've got one of the lowest unemployment rates. We, are, we have reduced our uninsured rate. Public policymakers in Washington were listening to us and that is now reflected in that bill. So you're happy with the changes? We have seen dramatic improvements. The work requirement prohibiting other states from expanding Medicaid, recognizing at the end of the day mm -hmm. there's only so much money and we can't continue to amass larger debt at the federal level. We've got to be responsible. Okay, great. Well, again, we wanted to do this to make sure we get people's questions in. So sure. they have a lot ranging from different topics. So the first one I'm seeing here is from Ellen Bland. She said, how can somebody qualify for food stamps but not for main care? She thinks that's, you know, a little off. What would you say to something like that? Well, certainly all of our programs are about providing individuals with a safety net of support. But at the end of the day, we understand that we want to work to support people achieving their full potential. Mm -hmm. So everything should be about a pathway out of poverty through employment. Great. From Cindy Hopkins, she wants to know, are there, what are the critical changes that you want to see made to the affordable care program? Our constant refrain in Washington is that if Maine is faced with another effort to expand Medicaid, it's today over a $400 million price tag. Once that cap goes in place, it's going to be a much larger financial burden. It will bankrupt the state. We want Medicaid expansion frozen. We want to see a prohibition on states uh, being able to expand, and we want that employment requirement. Great. Stephen LaPointe, are you doing anything to enhance oversight against welfare fraud? So switching gears a little bit here. Absolutely, because at the end of the day, one dollar misspent is a dollar taken away from a needy child mm -hmm. and from a needy family. So we have absolutely increased the number of fraud investigators, our ability to track mm -hmm. fraud and misuse of funds so that we can prosecute but also discourage the abuse and fraudulent use of welfare benefits that are all funded by the taxpayer. Sure, and we have one more question just that we've been hearing people want to know. Are you planning to run for governor ever? Is wow, that on I've your mind? I've never heard that question before. <laughs> I am right. so proud of where we are as a state, mm -hmm. and I hope that that can continue. Great. Well, uh, Mary Mayhew has agreed to stay here during the commercial break and answer more questions that she didn't get to, so please join us on Facebook Live. She'd be happy to answer more Absolutely. questions. Thank you, Commissioner, for being here. Thank you for having me. Guys,